Hey guys, this is part two of uh, Skippy's Virgin Diaries. Um, last episode, we learned why pepper sprays were invented. We learned why kill all men is a movement. And most importantly, we learned what not to do if you are a man. From the great himself, Skippy, the 40-year-old virgin. And he's an actual 40-year-old virgin, 43 now. In the first part, we saw that you know he picked her up and it was immediate cringe. It was one of the most awkward car conversations that I've ever heard in my life. Um, she automatically denied him in the first five minutes of meeting him. She said, there will be no second date. Now they're going on their actual date. Instead of going shopping, they're going to go to dinner. Okay, so this is a big step from the dollar store. And this is, a, this is I have a feeling that I'm going to want to drown myself. And we're going to watch part two. Hey, if you like these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. It lets me know that these videos are actually good, okay? And that's the most important thing. I just want to make good videos. Anyways, let's go back to Skippy. Skippy is wearing a orange shirt. I am. And an orange hat because orange is my favorite color. I did this on purpose because um, I want her to, at the end of the date, not hate me. Okay. Isn't it just so charming when a man says, I don't want you to hate me when you guys are on your first date? Um, I think it's just... Crazy. I think we should be taking notes from Skippy because he's clearly the best at dating. Okay. Okay, so what's what's going on right now? Okay, so we are at Ruby Tuesdays mm -hmm. and we have this really awesome server, Kelsey. Who is she, wearing all black. All black. Our theme for tonight is black, actually. The theme for the date is black. Yep. Yeah. And she didn't have a name tag on. And so we suggested that we make her one just because it would be more fun and she needs a name tag because it matches her personality. Right? I would like to present this name tag oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. you if you can. Yeah, ruin your clothes. Cause if you're not making name tags for your waiter, what are you doing? That is just ultimate disrespect. And here Skippy is saying staple it to your clothes. Wow. What an idea. Okay, it's presents time. What's your uh, first present for me and why? Oh first I want you to check out the bag. So the first gift that I got for you. Oh, a doggy ball. A doggy ball. There's no other disrespectful way to call someone your bitch than to give someone a doggy ball. I am beyond shook. If that ever happened to me on a date, I am walking out and she's paying the check. I will go to the bathroom for a very long time and not come back because I've had an emergency at home. I'm sorry, but that is way too much disrespect. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Your first gift. Are you going to um, explain the bag to me? Uh, the, the bag because it's big. Okay. I have had a whale of a good time with you. Fellas, please start taking notes immediately. This is, this is important stuff. <laughs> your second gift is a cowboy hat. Oh. My hat is off to you and your clever ideas. Oh. So nice. I know. But you have to put it on. Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> and it fits like a charm. Uh, yeah. So now take those notes you took from the last clip and please eat them so no one can ever see them again. It would. I call this uh, gift to you the Michael Jackson gift, right? Um, I'm a little scared. I'm giving it to you because it don't matter if you're black or white. Bigger than black and white, it's, it's a problem, problem with the whole way of life, can't change overnight. But we gotta, we gotta start somewhere. Um, I kind of expected it. Oh, right? This is a picture frame. So you can put a picture of like the best time you've had so far. You know, which... <laughs> this is a picture frame. Imagine turning around on your bed at 3 a.m. and seeing Skippy smile. I am grabbing that picture, I'm throwing it out the window. I am Tom Breeding th thing across the world. I am Superman whirlwind across the goddamn planet and I will bury it under the sea where not even Jack Sparrow will find it. For your uh, birthday party. This uh, final gift is black, but it also combines your favorite color. And I, when I saw this, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do such a great job picking this. Great job. And great what job are you, here. What are you cautioning great me job about? To you. Huh? What are you cautioning me about? Going on another date with me, that's totally oh, like I... an at your risk maneuver. Yeah. Oh, I... oh, 
I'm cringing. I'm fucking cringing. Holy shit. I don't... I Oh, I would have walked out by now if I was her. This is bad, man. This is... I, if you keep asking a girl for a second date on the first date every five, ten minutes, uh, I'm sorry, but that's just... That's upsetting. That is upsetting. That's it for Ruby Tuesdays. All right. Actually, I, I think it should be important to point out that... Oh, yeah. The reason we were going to go to Ruby Tuesdays is because he had a gift card for $25 to Ruby Tuesdays. To Ruby Tuesdays. And as we're sitting here, completely finished with our meal, Done. he goes to get his Ruby Tuesdays gift card. And what is it? Because that's how you're going to pay. Oh, uh, but it happens to be a gift card for Ruby River Steakhouse right. in Utah. That's right. Yeah. And for some reason, they like didn't want to accept it. Yeah. Skippy, Skippy, I can't help you, man. I can't help you. Because uh, clearly, you don't want to help yourself. You're using a gift card on the first date. That's like a third date at least. Come on. You got to do better than that, Skippy. All right, see you guys later. All right, so uh, we just got done watching one of my favorite movies ever, which was... Hot Rod. Hot Rod. And what did you think of that? I thought, it was, I thought it was good. So a bitch invites you over to watch a movie, and uh, you watch Hot Rod. And on top of that, you get through the entire movie without even, no, you know, you know, you know where I'm going. Like usually, usually ne you watch a movie and it usually takes 10, 15 minutes and you're not watching the movie anymore. Netflix is asking you, are you still watching? It was funny. It was really random and sporadic. By the way, uh, can the person filming us uh, turn around and show himself just super quick? Because we've got a guest filmer. Okay, so he's not going to do it, but... Uh, <laughs> but it is my brother. Her brother, Braylon. Is, he's super uh, awesome. Yeah. Damn, bro. He just got invited to watch a movie with her brother. That is the ultimate bestie friend zone. That is, uh, please tell me if my boobs look good. Tell me if I look good naked. Because I want to go impress this guy. That's the stage you're at now, Skippy. I'm so sorry. But you kind of brought this on yourself. Yeah. So, so we, camera we watched shy. Hot Rod with us. Yeah. So we watched it, the three of us. So and it wasn't the most romantic thing, but it's not a romantic movie. Well, I'm pretty sure that there's no way that that could have been. So it's yeah, totally, it's but pretty okay. But we did sit. Holy shit fatality. She just, mmm. This bitch doesn't hold back. She just told him there was no way that was going to be romantic. I'm so beyond my words. You know what? You know what? I'm kind of rooting for Skippy now. I'm kind of rooting for Skippy now. On the Which love Braylon seat, gets. we got to sit on the love seat while watching it, but um, we didn't like touch hands or anything like that. I would consider right. it, it was the like seat, not a love seat, right? Sure, yeah. Or am I like saying like, is it is that a little too strong a word, you think? What, what about a, a friendly seat? Oh, she just fucking friend zoned him. She just friend zoned him. Mm, the friend seat. Oh wow. Damn. I mean that it was the gift cards. I promise it was the gift cards. Okay, well th <laughs> that that actually brings us to this. Okay, so if we go on a date again, are we going out just as friends or is there like or like is this a date? This next um, thing well, we go out as. Well, well, um if we were going just as friends, it wouldn't be titled date. It would be titled hanging out. Okay, so what so Ball in your court, what would you like to do? Would you like to hang out next or would you like to go on a date next? Um, I would be fine with either. Yeah, she wants the Skippy hammer! Okay, let's go Skippy! You're gonna get laid! I promise you! Second date, Skippy? Come on! What's your preference? Like, if you had to pick one, which would you um, pick? Well, do I, do I have to answer this on camera? Yes. On camera? Really? Is there a difference between on camera? Would it be different if it wasn't on well, camera? Well, yes, because see, this is documented, and I'm not gonna have to go back and like look at this and watch this and remember like. But don't your don't you think you're honest? You know what? That. Never mind. I think I know the answer. Right. Please, for the love of God, stop making them feel bad for you. It doesn't work. They don't. If they don't care, they don't care. You just sound like a bitch. You just look like a bitch. Like, who cares? If they don't want to go on a second date with you, find someone else. It's not that hard. They're, they're nobodies. They're literal nobodies. Skippy, I would go on a second date with you. Date, not friends hanging out. I just defined the word date, so... Okay, in that case, you then get... Oh my much cocoa for my She case. doesn't know what she's, uh, what she's just won herself. Um, but she just got 
um, a Skippy, uh, Skippy gift bag, which includes a Skippy Loves, it should be likes, but uh, for you, uh, you got the Skippy Loves Me, you've got uh, the Skippy, you got the Skippy sticker, where do you get you've these? Got, um, I have a, Skippy Duck. You've got a dip em stick. Now, granted, these are from, like, February, so this is old, and so is the... Are you kidding me? Those things never go bad. Yeah, and then uh, there's also a heart-shaped uh, sucker. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then you've got a uh, Skippy, my very good Mormon friend, uh, pin. And then you also wow. get the thing that has been given out for two years in a row now at the Sundance Film Festival. They... Thanks to a Skippy, I didn't get raped. Rape whistle. <laughs> so there's. So he bought her a rape. What? The first date, he bought her a rape whistle. What in the? Who does that? Who does? I've never heard that. This is the first time I'm seeing that. Nobody does that. That's just that's written creep all over it. Oh my god. One last uh, thing here. Um, do you remember what I won from you? This yeah, week? we're not doing that on camera. Uh, we, we're not, but will you at least say what I won from you? Okay, so we had a bet. Yep, tell the bet. Um, I was grocery shopping, and he called me while I was grocery shopping, so we were on the phone while mm -hmm. I was grocery shopping. Sure. And he said, what do you think your groceries are going to come up to? And I said, about $60. And he said, I think it's going to be less than $60. So he said, if I was closer, then I should get something, right? That he should get something. If he was closer, he should get something. So he said he would wash my two minutes. Oh, he would wash my dishes if I won. And he said that if he won, he wanted a hug. What kind of hug? <laughs> I wanted a big hug. Oh, a big hug. Yeah, I wanted. Well, it's time to use that right whistle because uh, it looks like Skippy's gonna bear hug you to death. Uh, maybe her brother can step in. A really big hug, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so here's the thing. When I went shopping, you have two minutes left. Okay, so when I went shopping earlier, right? Uh huh. I'm going to actually release her from because I want a girl to want to hug me. I don't want her to have to hug me, right? <laughs> so I brought her, I brought her a whole bunch of hugs. I brought her a whole, whole, whole bunch of hugs. Now, I didn't know about the this. problem. Yeah, no, of course he didn't know about this. And she loves dark chocolate. Uh, they didn't have him dark chocolate. Oh, but man. Here's your whole bunch of hugs. Thanks for the great date. These are my hugs. That's our date. That was it. Okay, you can, you can stop now. She said you can stop now. Man, she's been waiting for this. She's been waiting for this moment for the entire day. Oh my God. Can you imagine how awkward it is for someone filming your date? Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine that. That's just, that's too weird for me. Turn this off. <laughs> that's a Raylan good. Raylan is having trouble, but it's a good end to the date. Yeah. See, so look to the. Um, One of the best dates of your life. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most she did, creative. Yeah. Nice, Taylor. Nice. Ouch. And and on that note. <laughs> that hurt me too, Skippy. I'm not gonna lie to you. That hurt me too. But you know what? Maybe on the second date, you can lose that virginity. You, you never know. You never know. Or what I think is going to happen personally is you're going to get ghosted. But th that's not for me to decide. Anyways, this was the end of Skippy's adventures. Okay? I'm, I'll do more videos on Skippy if this does good. But yeah, that'd be it. If you want to watch part one to this, I'll put the video up right there. Also, here's a video of a uh, feminist explaining why the word man is sexist. It's a good one.